everybody. <laughs> Scott was trying to do product placement. If it works, I do like <laughs> Diet Coke. <laughs> um, uh, maybe you've been wondering where I've been. Uh, I've been kind of absent for the past two weeks um, because I had something... Uh, I know I'm smiling, but it's it's something uh, very serious that happened um, in my life. In fact, as you can see, I'm in a completely different area from where I'm where I usually am, and that's because I'm in a hospital. Uh, I won't say which hospital. Uh, it's a very good hospital, um, but I won't say where it is. Uh, the reason I'm in a hospital right now is because my dad suffered a massive heart attack uh, about a week and a half ago, and so we've been back and forth to the hospital and then he's uh he's very critical right now and you know we, we don't know what's going to happen so that on top of nursing school I've not slept very well and uh in fact I had my first quiz this week in med surge one and just I've never failed anything more horribly in my life um I don't even want to say what I got because it's so terrible um but you can only go up from here Oh gosh, I even look so tired on here. So you guys can understand why. I mean, just nursing school is tiring. My left eyelid is droopy. <laughs> um. Anyway, so I didn't go to clinicals th this week, and I can't miss any more clinicals, or you know, any more clinical days at all, or I'll have to step out of this this semester, and have to remediate and maybe. Tr get back in next semester, so I, so I really have to try and stick it out and just pass with a minimum, um, just so I can move on and, and, and not have to remediate. That would be like my worst nursing school nightmare is to either be kicked out or to have to remediate. Um, but I mean, I've been trying to keep up with the study. It's been very, very stressful dealing with, uh, you know, my dad and being the main uh, decision maker and stuff like that, so... You know, been just being back and forth to you know the previous hospital that we were at, and then they they moved them over to this this other hospital. So it's just been back and forth, and they're not near where I live. Um, so it's a drive. So that is that. I mean, we don't know what's gonna happen, and I just I have to I have to stick it out. And I know my dad would want me to to stick it out and and keep keep trying my best. And Scott, who was sitting right next to me. Um, I'll come into the frame. <laughs> ah, oh, here I am. <laughs> he's uh, he's been a trooper. He's been hanging in with me. I mean, the the first, you know, uh, I want to say week that my dad was in the in the other hospital, he was back and forth with me because I couldn't drive. You know, I just got I learned how to drive stick, and I and, you know I got his his truck and got that all switched over and got insurance and everything. Learned how to drive it for the most part. Uh, and I drove it once <laughs> since I got it. And then I've just been too, I was way too distraught to try and drive it, you know, the day, you know, the night, <laughs> the night that he was brought into the hospital. So I've just been back and forth, uh, with him. Go see your serious face. <laughs> um, so yeah, so it's been a struggle. Um, I mean, I wish I could pause the rest of my life and deal with, you know, my dad because he is so important to me and to my brothers and to his family in Texas. Um, hi, everybody in Texas. I don't know who's watching this, but hi. Um, so it's been a struggle regardless. It was a struggle in nursing school regardless, you know, before and now it's even more so, but I, I mean, I just have to, I have to do it. I have to stick with it because it's the plan. I got to stick with the plan and then, you know, there are going to be derailments along the way, and this is a big derailment, but I have to stick with it. And, you know, whatever is going to happen is going to happen. But, you know, so I've got to keep studying. I brought my med surge book with me because I don't know how long I'm going to be here today. So I have to study uh, pain, the fifth vital sign, and wound healing. I have to read those chapters, and those are huge chapters. I brought some sketch cards I'm going to try to do. Um, so found more of a secluded area on this floor that I'm on so that, you know, don't want to violate HIPAA in any way, don't want to overhear, you know, 
or you know over record someone talking about their family member because that would that would be illegal so this is gonna be a quick video and um, well I can tell you about the the, the one day I did get into to clinical um, because we had a very short week um, that week so I only had clinical you know last week so I only had clinical on Monday and I did get to do uh, most of a head-to-toe assessment on my patient that was that was there today hopefully she's it was able to go home after that um, so that was interesting I mean I didn't get to do uh, she didn't uh, want well when I got there we get there so early she was so tired but you know she just didn't want to really talk to anyone but you know her nurse just to you know just to start the day and then she was sleeping and I couldn't get my full assessment done because she was a talker so I just had to try and bring it back you know I didn't get all the way I got most of it done but anyway so I know um, next week uh, when I do go back to clinicals uh, I do have to do a my first care plan and uh, I got a couple things do that were supposed to be due this week but you know I let my professor know that that I wasn't gonna oops I don't want to block black and Scott <laughs> but um you know I let her know and she was understanding you know she didn't don't worry about it you know and I would have gone back uh, like I missed Monday obviously and I probably would have gone back on Tuesday but I hadn't slept really at all you know because I'm you know I was in constant fear that the hospital was gonna call me you know at three o'clock in the morning and I had to drive back so I was just like afraid to sleep but anyway you know so so that's that's what's going on um I just want to let you guys know what's going on in case you were wondering where I am. But uh, that's that's what's going on this week in this third week of nursing school. I mean, I did go to my classes, you know, the, my evening, the theory class, you know, at night. And, you know, I like the class. I mean, I like the teacher and everything. But it's just hard to stay on top of everything on top of, uh, you know, my dad being here and being back and forth. But I'm going to, I just have to refocus and you know know that this is uh, what I need to do and um, you know that's what you gotta do so that's it um, just wanted to say hi and give everybody an update and, you know uh, if you're the praying type you know maybe say a little extra prayer for my dad and my family um, you know or just keep him in your thoughts you know and you know he's a strong guy and he's a stubborn guy so maybe he'll hang on just to prove us all wrong <laughs> um, <laughs> um, so that's it so hanging in there, I'm hanging in there, he's hanging in there, my brothers are hanging in there, Scott's hanging in there. <laughs> so that's it. Um, so we're just going to cut it off and I'm going to go do some studying. <laughs> I'm going to go read about the uh, pain and then wound healing. Man, there are pictures in my med surge book of pressure ulcers and I'm sure you guys had the same thing, the same horrible looking pressure ulcers. It's like, ooh. And I do have a question, maybe you guys could help me out. If you have a stage one pressure ulcer, is there like no hope once you have a, once you have the beginnings of a pressure ulcer? Is you, it's just gonna go and and become the most horrible wound you've ever seen in your life? Um, I didn't get a chance to ask that in class, but that seems like you know once the pressure ulcer has started, the the tissue underneath is just necrotic, and that's just it's terrible. You know, I, I'm I'm sure my dad's got pressure ulcers because he has to be in, he, he, pretty immobilized. So, anyway, I've been saying I'm going to cut it off for a minute. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Runs in my family. You just got to keep, and now my text message is going. So I'm going to cut it off, and I will talk to you guys next week. Bye. Bye.